This video will cover the differences between grouping and combining. By grouping two or more objects in a design, the software treats the objects as a single unit. Any change that is made to the group affects all objects in the group. To make separate changes to the object, a group must be ungrouped first. To select the objects for a group, you can click on different objects you wish to place in in a group by one of the selection methods. I'm holding down the control key to select these two objects. To group these objects, I can right click and select group. Notice that within the group, the properties are maintained for each object. If I change the type of running stitch on this group, it will change all objects in the group. If I want to add another object, I'll hold down the control key and select the other object and then right click and group again. This is called a nested group. Ungroup is accessed through a right click menu. And if I am working with a nested object, I have to use multiple levels of ungroup. Combining two or more objects results in a single object as well except they will have common fills and outlines. You access combine through a right click menu. I'll select the blue object and then the red object while holding the control key down. Right click and select combined. You can see that the first object selected adapted to the properties of the last object. The fill and outline properties are now the same, but the shape is not affected. When objects are combined, you'll see a jump stitch in between the object. The jump means that the object is combined. Cut work objects are combined so that they are a more efficient stitch out. That way, all the different cutting positions of the blade can be done at the same time, and it makes for a more efficient process. I can drag a bounding box around the cut work objects and right click and select combine. Again, there is a jump stitch and you can see the last item selected changed the first object so that the properties are the same. I can right click and break the objects apart, but the properties do not return to the object. Undo has to be used in order to get the properties to return. If the objects are overlapping, such as the star and square, and then combined, it will create a hole in the shape. It's a great way to create holes in the software. 